Good evening to everyone. So welcome again to our mentoring session. So I'm really encouraging everyone to keep attending every night. Okay, so we usually uh, uh, do the training 8.30 p.m. Okay, so uh, we, are, we, are, we are posting it on a Facebook Live. So we really encourage everyone to uh, keep on attending as many training as you can. Or you can always listen to it repeatedly. Because we need this, okay? We need this in order for us to succeed and also encourage your, the people under you, okay? So yung mga binibuild nyo as diamond or yung mga members under you, okay? So please, uh, please uh, encourage them to always listen to our mentoring session, okay? So thank you so much for, for all those who are attending and watching and listening this training. So thank you so much, and I hope that this helps you. So tonight, so we are going to learn about six steps to success. So I believe that these are the principles that can change your life overnight. Yes, literally, it can change you overnight if you apply this principle. So principle number one, be a dreamer. So you need to look at yourself. You look at the last five to ten years of your life. Kumusta po ba yung... Buhay nyo in the last five years or in the last 10 years. Have you ever succeeded in the last five years or in the last 10 years? You see, if things are not changing, it's, there is a principle called that if you want to change where you are going, you need to change what you are doing. Why? Because kung wala na nga nangyari last five years, how would you expect that doing the same thing would change your life in the next five years. Kaya nga, how would you define, anong definition, what is the best definition of insanity? Insanity means doing things again and again and again and expecting different results. So in order for you, in order for you to determine to change what you are doing, you have to be a dreamer, okay? If you want to succeed, you better be excited again. You need that childlike enthusiasm. Have you ever seen a child? Have you ever seen uh, uh, yung mga bata, di ba, pag naglalaro sila, wala silang pake, parang lagi natin sinasabing sa mga bata na naglalaro, parang wala silang mga problema. Ang sarap maging bata. And I would, I would always believe on that. If you, want to be, if you want to succeed, you need that childlike enthusiasm. You need to be excited again. In, Ma, in Micah 7, 8 says, Though I fall, I will rise again. Yes, every one of us will experience tremendous problems in life, but it's not about the problem. It's always about how you face it and how you deal with the solution. It's always believing in the vision, staying in the vision, and fighting for the vision. Number two. So number one, you need to be a dreamer. Number two, you need to have a positive attitude. Nobody follows a dead, dumb, prostrated crybaby. You need to be excited. You see, being a dreamer and having positive attitude means you have to be excited. You know, I, I remember there's a person that I've asked, uh, buti nag-join ka dito sa ating program, buti nag-join ka, nag-member ka dito sa ating business. Sino ba ang nag, sino ba nag-share sa'yo? Kasabi niya sa akin, eto yung nag-share sa akin. Ay, kumusta naman? Ano ba? Aba, pa, paano kanya na-convince? Paano kanya na-convince? Alam niyo, nagulat ako ang sagot niya sa akin. Ang tagal niya nga nag-present. Mga dalawang oras nag-present. Wala akong naintindihan. Ang grabe. Sabi ko, wala ka naiintindihan. Ang tagal-tagal nag-present sa'yo. Eh, ba't ka nag-join? Kasi grabe siya excited. Grabe siya excited. Grabe talagang parang uh, the person is so pumped up and he just keep on talking and talking and says, yayaman tayo dito. We are going to be successful here. So he just pour out his excitement. At the end, nagulat na lang ako para ako na-hypnotize and I joined the business. You see, sometimes you don't need to explain everything. It's not really too much information and too much detail. You know, it's probably better na mag-join sa inyo is because out of excitement, 
and not really out of information. Kaya tuloy, tignan nyo, meron, ikaw, minsan ang galing-galing mo na mag-explain, detalyado ka, tapos nagulat ka pagdating sa dulo, ang sagot sa'yo, sige, pag-aaralan ko. Diba? Parang, then you end up so frustrated and sasabihin mo, ano bang mali sa presentation ko? Diba? But I would, I would tell you that there is a highest ratio in closing a person to join the opportunity if you are excited. You need to be top. You can be happy. You can be sad. You can be a winner. You can be a loser. A positive attitude of as long as I live, nobody can make me quit. Can you repeat that statement? As long as I live, nobody can make me quit. Okay? 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 to 17a in New Living Translation. This is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. There's nothing permanent in this world, I promise you. I remember I have a student in the past and I would probably drop the name kasi popular ito dahil anak ito dati ng presidente, ni President Erap. And during the impeachment, during the impeachment of Erap in 2000, yung estudyante ko na to, yung, yung si Jericas, lumapit sa akin niya dati. Sabi niya, Sir, grabe. Binubuli siya ng mga classmate niya. Diba? Sabi niya, imagine, grabe yung pinagdadaanan nila, my father is being impeached. And I remember I told her something that really, uh, that I caught her attention. Sabi ko lang sa kanya, simple lang. There's nothing permanent in this world. Okay? Hindi mauubos ang luha mo, matatapos ang problema mo. And you know what? Three, mga two years ago, and you, uh, anong year yun? 2000 pa yun. Ano? Kaya lang ba impeachment era? 2000. 2000 yun. Then, she graduated uh, in 2001. Okay? Kasi third year high school siya. Then, graduated in 2001. Then, three years ago, nag-message siya sa akin. Tapos pinaalala niya yung sinabi niya sa akin. Tapos ngayon, sabi niya sa akin, he is now a born again Christian. Okay? And dami, dami niya anak ngayon. I think tatlo na. So you see, you got to understand in this life, we are going to face a lot of things that you may not understand. But always remember, okay, everything in this life is temporary. Okay? So, look at this story. He lost eight elections, failed in business twice, suffered a nervous breakdown. His path to success looked like this. In 1832, defeated for legislature. In 1833, second failure in business. In 1836, suffered nervous breakdown. In 1838, defeated for speaker. In 1840, defeated for elector. In 1843, defeated for Congress. In 1848, defeated for Congress. In 1855, defeated for Senate. In 1856, defeated for Vice President. In 1858, defeated for Senate. In 18... Grabe kung ganito nakahaba ang failure mo. Grabe, kaya mo pa ba? Eh, ilang taon yun, no? So, from 1832, na siya sa position, no? But... In 1860, elected president of the United States of America, Abraham Lincoln was a champion who never stopped. So you have to understand, it's not about your, our current situation. It's not about how things are going. It's how you are going to finish. Abraham Lincoln was a champion who never stopped competing. Even with a pattern of failure that would have left most of us devastated, he just kept competing until he won. Okay, so welcome to life. You have to understand. You have to understand life's not fair. 
Yes, that's the reality of life. Life would never be fair. If you are waiting for life to be fair, then you are not going to succeed. Number three, you have to have this ability to see yourself winning. Okay? So you need to, you need to make sure you, you really see that victorious heart okay, in your life. You have to expect to succeed. Life will eventually turn out. That's the reality because in the Bible says that after mourning, there is joy. After crying, there is happiness. There is always an opposite reaction in everything that is happening in your life. You must think about reaching your goal every day. Not one day went by that I didn't dream and think about the goal that I had set. I live on that goals every day. So thinking about how great it would be, totally financially independent. It kept me going a million times when I wanted to quit. So hindi naman yan about quitting. All of us, not nobody spared. All of us, almost every day you want to quit. You always want to give up. But welcome to life. Welcome to human race. That's part of uh, our battle. But the most important thing that at the end, you still keep on moving forward. My dreams kept me going. But my goals kept me on course. Are you learning? So you will never know how close you are to your breakthrough if you quit. Did you hear that? Let me repeat that. You will never know how close you are to your breakthrough if you quit. So always remember every day you are closer than you think. You are closer than your, to your victory. You are closer to your breakthrough. You may not understand things that is happening around you, but you are closer to your victory. Number four, the ability to make total commitment. You cannot be average or ordinary if you have a total commit. If you have total commitment, a little ounce of courage can bring you to greatness. Life is a challenge. Okay, so whatever goals that you have placed in your life, you have to commit. Like dito sa ating 1088 program, may mga nag-goal na gusto nila magkaroon ng sasakyan. Then you have to make sure that you have this total commitment until you reach your goal. Keep on fighting. Proverbs 16.3 says, commit to the Lord whatever you do and He will establish your plans. Okay, just commit it to God. Total commitment that you want to succeed. When you make a commitment, you got to burn all bridges. Okay, what does burning all bridges mean? Like, uh, there's a story about a group of armies. Okay, then they are about to go through a battle. Then on the way, on their journey, nabalitaan nila, that there is a tremendous troop ahead. Grabe yung kanila makakalaban. And they fear about their life. Diba? So parang natakot sila na baka katapusan na nila pag sumugod pa sila doon. And sabi nila doon sa kanilang, uh, kanilang uh, leader, sa kanilang commander, uh, pwede pa bang umatras? Okay? So sabi ng commander, we need to keep going. So ang ginawa ng commander... Meron silang tatawiran isang tulay, meron silang tatawiran na isang tulay na yun lang yung tanging daan papunta dun sa pupuntahan nila. And you know what happened after they passed through that bridge? Ginawa ng commander ay pinasabog yung bridge. Okay? Para wala na silang choice. <laughs> wala na silang choice but to go through the battle. Okay, so that that is literally means yung tinasabi natin idiomatic expression na burn all your bridges. Because in that bridge, there may be a lot of hindrances and there may be a lot of situations in your life. Okay, there may be a lot of failures. And if you keep on looking back, then you have a hard time giving your 100% commitment. Isn't it? That's why if you want to make a total commitment, Learn to burn all your 
bridges and just keep moving forward. The quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence, regardless, regardless of their chosen field of and the and the and the labor. Ayan yung sinabi ni Binslom Bardi. Okay. Number five is your ability to pay the price. Alam niyo sa lahat na isa set ng goals natin, nothing comes easy in life. Life will not be a bed of roses. It will not be handed to you on a silver platter. There is always a price to pay when you want to hit your goals. And it's all about understanding the principle of working hard. There will be a lot of sacrifices. There will be a lot of sleepless nights. There will be a lot of troubles. There will be a lot of hard work in front of you. So it's not going to be easy. But as I've told you, it's going to be worth it. Amen? All hard work in Proverbs 14.23 says, All hard work brings profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. It's always, sabi ni Norman Vincent Peale, it's always too early to quit. Okay? Because, yun nga minsan nakakapagtaka, no? When you join an opportunity, one month pa lang, two months, three months, sasasabihin sa'yo, ay, hindi, hindi yata para sa akin to. Uh, ayoko na. Sabi ko, ilang taon ka na ba nagtatrabaho? Ten years. Eh, nung sa 10 years mo ba nagtatrabaho? Nagsucks, yumaman ka ba? Nagsucksid ka ba? Hindi nga eh. Kaya nga ako naghahanap ng other opportunity. Iyon naman pala eh. 10 years ka nagtatrabaho. Hindi ka naman nagsucksid. Tapos dito, 3 months pa lang. 3 months pa lang, uh, sumusuko ka na. Sinasabi mo, hirap-hirap naman. You see, sometimes people don't, don't really understand that when you get out of your comfort zone, things will not be easy. Okay? So, number six, your ability, ability to have the right kind of priorities. Okay? If your only motivation is to make money, it won't work. It's always the vision and the mission that brings the right kind of success. You got to understand, business, business is not all about money. You sometimes... When you are doing great things, it's all about your purpose, your vision, and your mission. Why? Because when you do your purpose well, when you do the mission well, when the vision flows, money flows. So the starting point, the starting point of building wealth is not always making money. The starting point is making the vision and making the mission work. And that will give you the right kind of success. Okay? Nothing stops the man who desires to achieve every obstacle. Okay? It's simply a course to develop his achievement muscle. It's strengthening his powers of accomplishment. It's always your desire to achieve great things. It's always your desire to accomplish great things in your life. So you have to focus on that. So in, in what we do right now, we do, you don't build a business, you build people, then people build the business. That's why you see that's the reason behind we put so much time, so much effort, okay, in our mentoring session. If you would notice, we are doing it practically every day from morning to evening because we want to build the person. When you, when you build the person, then that person will build a business. So crusaders commit to something bigger than their business. So it's all of way. It's, this is this a crusade. This our crusade means making a difference in the life of every person. I'm not sabi ni Art Williams. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy, as I have repeatedly saying. But I'm telling you it's going to be worth it. So it's a question of, is it worth fighting for? Na kahit na magpakahirap ako araw-araw, 
is it really worth fighting for? Because if it is worth fighting for, you are going to move heaven and earth just to accomplish it. You will do everything, whatever it takes to accomplish it. But you have to make sure you understand it's going to be worth it. In Joshua 1, 9 says, this is my command. Be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Deuteronomy 20, 20, chapter 20, verse 4 says, For the Lord your God is going with you. He will fight for you against your enemy, against any opposition, and God will give you victory. Amen? Great things in business are never done by one person. They're done by building a big team. So keep on building a big team. Okay? Like, I, ngayon si Pastor Larry, ano? if you are watching and you are listening, na, na binuo niya yung team niya. May pangalan na yung team nila. Ang pangalan ng team nila is Nehemiah Builders. Wow! What a wonderful name. Nehemiah, alam naman natin si Nehemiah uh, builds a temple. Diba? So builder talaga siya. And kung babasahin niyo yung Nehemiah, na build yun out of great opposition. Okay? So for all those listening at meron na kayong team, you can uh, right, right now start a team name. Okay? Joel 2.11, this is a reality in business and you have to make sure you understand this. Kasi meron dati nagtanong sa akin, ano? sabi niya, kung maganda yung, kung maganda yung negosyo mo, bakit may nagkukwit? Bakit may umaalis? <laughs> Diba? Gan sabi ko ganun talaga because uh, in every in every battle there's always casualty. Diba? Pumunta ka sa isang battle, kahit ilagay mo pa diyan lahat ng five star general. Dahil ba sinasabi mo na puro five star general 'yan, tapos pag nagkabarila wala nang mamamatay sa kanila. So that's the reality of life. So you have to understand in Joel 12 to 11 is a very powerful statement says that not everybody or not everyone is committed to fighting the battle with you. Choose your army wisely. Mighty is God's army. Ganun po talaga. We have to dig deeper. Who is with you? Who will fight for you? Who will stay, for, who will stay with you in this battle? Who will, stay, who will stay with you until you accomplish your goal? But the most important thing is you are committed to your goals in life. Okay, so did you learn something tonight? So I hope these things have helped you. I just applied the six, step of six steps of success and I promise you this will change your life forever. So thank you so much. I, I really pray that you will keep, I, I'm really encouraging everyone to keep attending, uh, keep watching, okay, keep on listening watching to, and learning from our mentoring session every night. So thank you so much. God bless everyone. So after this, we will now discuss our 1088 program. So keep on watching and listening. God bless everyone.